Hi guys, Jay here from BornToProduce.com. Welcome back to another bonus lesson within this MIDI course. So in this one, we're going to be talking about Corda. We're going to go into a bit more detail. So let's have a look at that. So you would just come over to MIDI inserts and choose Corda, of course. Select your MIDI instrument first. I've got a Rhodes piano on Halion Sonic SE3. And we're going to manipulate this with the Corda. So first of all, you can make this shorter or longer. I'm going to have it on the maximum. Can't have it any taller. So basically what this thing can do is trigger chords with just one note being played. So it's fantastic for non keyboard players like myself. And I would normally use chord pads, but this is a uh, pretty, pretty damn good actually. So let's just have a look, see what it can do. So first of all, I'm going to show you how, how to record your own in just a second. But let's just have a little look at the a preset. And I'm going to go to single chords. Uh, there's loads of presets here, as you can see. But I quite like this single chord, minor 7-11. And I'm just going to play one note. C. I'll come to the different layers in a moment. So as I go up to D and E, the chords change because they've all been programmed in that way. So let's just have a quick look at how easy it is to produce something with just three notes. And you'll notice that the layers are changing. Uh, that's because we have layers set to velocity here. And so when I hit the key softly, it will trigger the lower lower layer. If I hit it a bit more, it will trigger the middle layer, which is a different chord, as you can see. So as you can see, we've got a C9 stroke B. Next one up is also a C9 stroke B, but there's an extra note in here. And if I hit it hard, it goes to a C major seventh stroke ninth. So I can just hit one key at different velocities and get different sounds. And when you combine these with other notes as well, it just sounds really cool. Right, this one. Okay, that bottom one is not triggering very much, so you've got some controls down here. But you can also change the number of layers, by the way. And you can control the velocity spread, whether you want the lower layer to be wider and therefore more used, or have it the other way around, where the top layer is wider and therefore more used. Or we'll have it somewhere in the middle. So that's really cool. There's a slight delay there in me pressing the MIDI because of the I'm using voice meter to record this tutorial. And there's quite a delay on the MIDI getting through. Okay, so um, that's really cool. So now I'm going to show you how to record your own. That was a, obviously a preset and there's loads of presets in for you to get your teeth into. But let's just go to reset, put it back to how it was when we first started. Now you've got a three modes here uh, before we do this. You've got all keys, one, one octave and global key. All keys means you can set a trigger note anywhere across the entire keyboard. One octave means you can just program in keys in one octave only. So your trigger keys might be these ones here, for example. And a global key means that you don't have to set a trigger key. You can just, it will just automatically start creating the layers without a trigger key. I'm going to leave it in all keys. And I'm going to hit learn. And I'm going to play a trigger note, first of all, on my keyboard. So C2. That's my trigger note. I'm now going to either play in a chord on my keyboard or program a chord in with my MIDI, uh, with my mouse, sorry. I'm now gonna, whoops. I'm 
I'm now going to do that now. So that's I'm just going to keep it simple. That a three note chord for the first layer. What I need to do is just increase the layers here. So we'll go up to three layers. So now we'll go up to the second layer. Just click on it to highlight the second layer. Now we'll add a nine. So that's a C nine. Then we'll go up to the third layer. You can hear what it sounds like, it gives you instant feedback. Something like that, that will do. And then we'll click off Learn. So now when I just play my C2 key, they're the ones I just programmed in and they're still velocity sensitive. The play style uh, is apparently an arpeggiator, so it, it takes your three chords or your five note chords and does an arpeggiator. I think it is working. I've just put it on slow up and you can just about hear, hear it sort of going doo -loo, doo -loo. I just thought it would be more kind of obvious than that. You can I'm doing it random here and you can hear that it is actually playing the, the notes slightly out of time with each other, sort of randomly. But I guess if you want a more human feel, you would choose one of these one of these other ones. And this blue light here, this, this shows you what trigger note you've actually programmed in. So if you've got a few trigger notes, they'll be highlighted in blue, as you can see here. Okay, so you can have um, many, many layers. I think it's eight layers, which is amazing. Eight different layers for different velocities. And you can program as many keys as you want with different chords. So the scope is huge here. I'm just going to show you a couple of different other modes, which I don't like as much. I love the velocity mode, but you can have it in single mode, which means you just have one layer, obviously. But nothing ever changes. And you can have interval mode, which means the first note you press is like the bass note. And then if you like do the next key up, which in this case would be D sharp, it then triggers the first layer. If you hold down, still holding down C and do, and press D as well, it triggers the second layer and then D sharp. So it's just a different way of playing. You have to press one note and then a second note to trigger the layer. Like I say though, I like I love velocity. Yep, that's cool. So that's a pretty good uh, MIDI insert that one. Um, as with all MIDI inserts, if you press this record button here on the actual MIDI insert itself, you can actually record those chords in. So there you go, you can see all the chords there. Another thing you can do, I'll just undo that and take off record. You can come to MIDI and then merge MIDI in loop. Include the inserts and it will put your chords in there like that. Okay guys, I really hope that's helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.